Welcome to Bark to the Cafe number two. This is like a Robbie Bun special, purely from the town of Banta. The school of Banta. Not the day with Tom and Shanta. That's the phone. Go and do this right. It's going to be right. I'm doing the first poem, read a few poems, and we're going to have um, Chris Malice, the Bard of Blair, Charlie Burns, got a few names, he hates them all, but we've got them. <laughs> then we've got Stephen Magnus from Ayrshire, and we've got um, the Bam Plot all the way to Paisley. Fucking Bam Plot. <laughs> then we've got um, Billy, what's his name again? Watson. Billy Watson, all the way from um, Bonex. Well done. Bonex, right? <laughs> okay, right. I'm going to do like a Rabbi Burns style poem to start with, right? It's like a ballad, it's like fucking, it's sort of a story of a romance, revenge, and murder, right? It's pretty brutal, violent, but it fits with the times like about 300 years ago. It's called Dublin Lassie. <laughs> Every day she'd feel my thrust. We myself, she used to flirt. No, sir, sir. Right. Okay. Every day she'd feel my. Every day she'd feel my thrust. We myself, she's always flirt. It started off as mutual lust, her lifting up her plated skirt. We'd sit and drink her favourite tipple as she brazily exposed her rose red nipples. She took my heart, she took my hand, the bloodiest last in all of Ireland. I fled Scotland while in my teens, hunted and hounded by a king and queen. On Irish shows I washed up without a care to start afresh and be hunted no more. I kissed her lips, I clenched my fist, the finest wench I'd ever kissed. The scarlet harlot of old Dublin town, she was my princess, she'd wear a crown. From that day on we'd never be apart, when oh, Dublin lassie stole my heart. They came the night to snatch her bosom, a traitor left the lock and latched. She scratched, she kicked, she cursed, she bit, my scarlet heart that full of wit. On the kid that was I, he wore a patch, an English landowner by the name of Thatch. I'll hunt him here, I'll hunt him there, I'll scalp off that rascal's noble hair. He's crossed my path, he'll feel my wrath, he's going to feel the aftermath. I'll burn down his house, I'll snap his neck like a feathered goose. He snatched my lover, there's no excuse. Tartin for a mug, I'll cut off his lug, shatter his skull like an alpater and jug. As the craft lets him to nest, I'll catch him in his Sunday best, leading a kit with Bible in hand. I'll mark the bastard understand. Castration seems to fit this crime. I'll cut him loose right in his prime, let him bleed it in his kick. Wipe that bastard's evil smirk, he's guilty as charged, him judging jury. Time to vent that Scottish fury. As old gypsy Agnes cast her curse, I stumbled upon her pilfered purse. Two silver coins in her sacred cross, now even there I felt a loss. I felt the tears roll down my face, and I was in my darkest place. But through my grief, I had a vision, a spider in the tower prison. The time had come for me to act, with old gypsy Agnes had made a pact. I bridled my horse and jumped on back, and we my sword I led the attack. Behind me rode my gypsy brothers, all pure bred with gypsy mothers. With scaled tower walls with murder in mind, my double lassie I soon would find. I spied the devilish landowner thatch, and I scalped the wee of battle axe. I drew my sword, he begged his lord, I spilt his guts and I chopped off his nuts. I listened to the bastard scream as he slipped into an eternal dream. Then me and Double Lassie were together once more. Her rose red nipples, her auburn hair. I kissed her lips, I clenched my fist, the finest wench I'd ever kiss. Thank you. I'll sit in the Scottish by, by the JK Ghost of Dundee. It's a true story. It's about this JK, old JK Ghost. He goes and stays in there. Half seven, he goes about like pissing another Jakey Pops, a wine friend, and looking at it. Like, right, fucking old dirty Jakey, but it's good as fuck. It's good as fuck. I'm the ghost, the Jakey's ghost. Most of the time, I'm steaming. The rest of the time, I'm steaming. A host ghost lay gatherings in the half graveyard where now you mortals are dreaming. And the ghost of every Jacob has ever fucking been. From Dundee to Edinburgh, from Glasgow to Aberdeen. Every Jacob's heard this, although I'm rarely seen. A hot Jake is in the Hulton when they're doing in their scrumpy jack. A hot Jake is in the stove eating their cunt's heart attacks. They didn't hear fucking Scooby. It's like Ebenezer Scrooge hard and Jakey screaming that they're going to quit their booze. I take their cunts on journeys. Flown through the night, a JK we a JK ghost, a terrifying sight. I keep the journey short, cause I stink, I steal cider and pish. 
sort the cunts right out, then give them a final wish. The terror in their eyes is something to behold. I terrorize the young cunts, I terrorize the old. I take them to the future, I take them to the past, then leave them in the present. Moots and eyes aghast. I try to make them see the error of their ways. I try to make them see that drinking doesn't pay. Some of them are unhappy, but some of them are sad. Some even gives her bottle, and cause of that I'm glad. At the end of the day, what's up the fucking end? Remember, I'm a JK too, so I didn't lay the blame. Sometimes for a laugh, I piss in their bottle of wine. They think it's a gift for God, intervention is divine. Cause one minute their bottle's empty, next minute it's overflowing. The cunts are fucking ecstatic, eyes are fucking glowing. Let them do the realize they're sipping on their piss. I feel a bit like Jesus, dishing the wolves and fish. Pure walking on water, turning urine into wine. The cunts are fucking clueless, cause it's fucking baby time. I stick him in Dundee, cause your jakeys are the best. I can't handle the accent that the jakeys hear west. I don't venture to fife, their jakeys are the worst. It's like the cunts have been inflicted with some kind of gypsy's curse. I've been a ghost for ages, so many sleepless nights. I hate my fits and rages, I'm definitely no right. It's awfully long like times being a jakey specter. No cunt fucking speaks to us, they treat us like a leper. Deep down in a good cunt, I've got a heart of gold. But every cunt avoid us, I'm always left out in the cold. But that's enough about me, cause I've got more jakeys to haunt. It's time to wash my punt pus and take a little jaunt. Tonight I'm gonna wait outside the Toonhouse bar. That place is Jakey Central, I'll come here from afar. I'm all on the, on the hunt for jakeys and I'm bursting for a slash. I can sense another miracle as I'm pissing in your glass. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone out here ever like took Herbalife or been on Herbalife? See, like, the book See, about two years ago, right, Facebook and like Instagram, it was all full of people selling Herbalife, people on about Herbalife, people taking selfies, like, all this big Herbalife, they're like, eh, if you make sell that, like, and I was saying, it's just like a big pyramid scheme, it's fucking kind of shit. And then all of a sudden, it's just disappeared, there's been no like Herbalife, I've not heard anything about it, so. I wrote a poem that reminds me of Herbalife, but I, actually, someone came on and told us something like Herbalife, saying, I still hear, we're still fucking strong. Are you sure? It's a good place to go. So this is called the demise of Herbalife. Right. Silence. So are you a flat? Right, we'll have last time. Right. Come in. Yes, yeah, so we'll have So no one here was ever on it, no? No, I saw it. Oh, you are, I saw it. Good to see you again. It's called the demise of Herbalife. <laughs> Herbalife, the demise. The pyramid was high right up to the sky, but then something happened. No cuts are back on the pies. Was it all lies? Back on the fries. The pies, the fries, the pies, and the fries. I clever at the skies. I feel for the masses who will pull over their eyes. Was it all a joke? A big puff of smoke? Spent their fucking cash on the 60 bender on the coke. The bubbles now burst. Herbalite shakes no longer quench in their thirst. We must never forget the pain, the sweat, the beautiful selfies once something deeper in the debt. Her mortgage, her house, sold your favourite plugs just for a hit of your favourite vice. Cancelled your holiday to the Holiday to Spain, put your wife on the game, a gobble for a feather, no fucking shame. Kebabs replacing the abs, ripped in tone bodies, returning a flab. Grab a pizza or a burger, they're all fucking fab. The pyramid scheme, the scheme of your dream, but something went wrong or so fucking seems. So the hair life goodbye, once you stood proud and so high, but now all these cunts are craving the pie. Back on the fries, the pies, the fries, the pies, and the fries. Every pyramid society has their demise, the Mayans are Egyptian, so it's not really a surprise. So everybody can now please close your eyes. Join me in minute silence for a selfies and a lies and the pies, the fries, and back when the fries, the demise, the lies, the demise of terrible life. Mm. Um, <laughs> it was like um, last year, eh, um, David Allen was in Dundee doing some wildlife programme, right? And he was done by the Tay Bridge behind the VA. <clears throat> Somehow, he's seen a lot of big octopus, he's last man, I've never seen one that big. And somehow a bag of ectos, we call it ect ectos in Dundee for anyone, so like, yeah, <laughs> fell off the bridge into the water and the fucking octopus swallowed him and fucked off. So I thought, what the fuck? But uh, the next day it went on a rampage, right? So this is the story of ectopus. 
And your pet, and your hoose, something strange is on the loose with arms and legs at number eight, eyes like saucers, what a state. Big fish, little fish, cardboard boxes, mental creature of fucking rocks, big clubs of ink, it shoots at nights, it plots stocks. Stops to think. It's got me arms and it's got these skins of joints eight different ways. Arms may cut when he's sober, but when he's smashed, peace time's over. On the hulk and he swaggers doing hugging Arkan wire to the moon. Just last night was spotted up Stobie. Mere space dude with Obi-Wan Kenobi. Check its jaw, check its pus. The mental cunts that won the bus. The 33 doing to the sea. Children's fuck for all to see. Jumps up at the V&A. Skelts the driver, doesn't it pay? Now the cunt is on the run. Go up and lasses just for fun. You groped your bird, groped your mother, skelt your dad. Choke your brother! An eight armed pervert on the loose, too many echoes, his excuse. Get so randy on the man, they start in the boot, studding sweet candy. Someone stop the shameless cunt, the spineless fuck who's got some front. He's like some myth from ancient Greece, start in the boot, breaches the peace. He's more lethal than Medusa, turning cunts to stone, seducer of, of lasses, slitting out his bone. It's like the Aldor Smith through the northern seas. Fucking hell, man, it's a cracking on these armed polis here that come. The eight armed mollusk is on the run of hop, stops, jumps, skips. Lands on board Discovery ship, up the mast it climbs so fast, tails of ink shoot out its ass, hits a sergeant in the party, slips, trips, scream the curse, down below the mob is cheering, vain for blood, leer and sneer, cut off its arms, cut off its legs, they can't take the fucking pilot's head! Up above in the car's nest, to find they trapped the drugged up test, but one mere trick he called their bluff, the daft pricks only use one cuff, what a mistake, what a joke, seven officers he scalps and chokes, takes a chance, jumps off ship, he's a pole, it's a final slip, he's got mere tricks and David Blaine, the cunts like Houdini, slip in chains, now the mob is on his side, took the pole, for a ride, the scream and shout and chant his name, the pole, hang their heads in shame, the chance and cunt lands in the tay, raises the tentacle, swims away, what a spectacle, what a day, to meet this ectoboss, I sure would be. <laughs> right, this poem is like um, this is a poem of like drug addiction from Bundy and it's called uh, Rabbit in the Hair. True story. You always say that. Okay, that's true. The rabbit in it is a no tar rabbit in the hair. Did you hear about the rabbit in the hair that just didn't care? The rabbit had a habit and the hair didn't even wear. Puffy and crab it was as hair as a rabbit. Any money we would grab it, any enemy we would stab it. Addicted to meth, crystal and crack. Just for breakfast the burned up on smack. Skinny and pale we a bark at stubby tail. Pure yellow buck teeth that were destined to fail. But one day the rabbit said, I want to get clean. I'm fucking sick of this life, do you ken what I mean? What? You want to get clean, escape through the scene, your head's in the clouds, you're in a fucking dream. Nah, no, I'm fucking no, I'm raring to go. I want to get a bird, I'm going to run the show. <coughs> Fuck, you couldn't run a mile, you can't even smile. Your breath is pure rotten like a crop through the Nile. Your ears are not chewed, your spirit's subdued. Twenty years of drugs you've used and abused. Nah, no, but mate, it's never too late, we could be something great. Me and you together control their fate. Alright then, I'll take a fucking chance, your lights will enhance. We could even start you and hop over to France. It was a wonderful idea, their future was clear. No time to worry, no time to fear, but half an hour later they were back on the gear. Their lives a confliction of hope and addiction. Pure stunned at the chemist with their methadone prescription. <clears throat> the fucking walking dead, out their fucking head, wasting their lives, no more need be said. But the next day he said, nah, this is it, I'm sick of this shit. We're pure rotten and stot and their lives forgotten. Chasing their hit, this mare of my life, I need to find a wife. I want to explain, I'm going to take a knife to my fucking vein. We're going cold turkey, get the shit out of our brain. So for five nights and five days, the never parted ways. Bathe them together and withdrawn fucking days with a shiver and a quiver. Fucking joined us for their livers. Tear shit and piss, not a second was bliss. Surely the shit is the devil's fucking kiss. Then the sixth day they says hope. I loosen all the rope, a sigh and a cry, they were free from the dope. But how long will it last? Cause the spell has been cast. So will they fight for a bright future or resort to their past? Coming <coughs> 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 the name was Paul McCure working class, right? right? A few years ago I worked in um, Morrison's warehouse as a former driver, like a tatty factory, a potato factory, right? And um, I was fucking, it was really shit, the business there, like con minimum contracts, all this, and fucking minimum wage and shit. Luckily I got a better job now, but this. This, this poem sort of was wrote because of that, but then it's to do with fucking a lot of other shit. So it's called um, 
What's it called? Yeah. Kind of like, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's called work to old age, right? Work, 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 fucking work to old age. Threaten to make ends meet, fucking run off your feet. The anger built not boil till the rage. Daily toil for the fat cat, man. I feel fucking trapped in a cage. Minimum wage slave. Open the book every day, it's on the same page. These cunts are going to have us work into the grave. Society is not unstable, victimise the poor and the unable. Disabled people now have no rights, for some there's no hope. Jumping off bridges in the night. Suicide is on the rise, our society is broken. The most vulnerable of people are victims, no one hears their voice spoken. My boss said to me, Mark, could you do overtime? In fact, it's compulsory, don't have a choice. Man, I feel fucking ready to explode, feel my head strapped on a vice. Usually I'm nice and usually easy going, but I feel fucking the race, he's constantly overthrown. Work the weekend just to light the fat cat's pocket. I'm going to find it where the cut legs and gouges I clean up the socket. <laughs> Stick it in my pocket, put it in a firework, fire it in a rocket. How does that feel, you fat fuck? Could you feel our fucking pain? When you're 50 years in your fat grave, will you get fat and spin? Living off our cash, living off our cash, living life fast, wine and dine. No bother, mate, just you have a fucking blast. Society is not set up to benefit the rich. Doesn't care for you or me, the cunt sleeping in a ditch. A society like a fess and scab, it's us that feel the itch. Um, this is like the story about the time I went down to London and killed and ate 17 people there. Um, it's, like, it's called the Scottish Mare Off in London. <coughs> it's a full moon tonight, the moon is so bright, massive and clear, a big brilliant light. Feel like I can touch it, feel on my skin, a magnetic pull is fucking drawing me in. I've got a strange feeling, something's in sight, it's coming and going a bit like the tide, with teeth. And claws, hairy hands are now paws, pure howling at the moon, salivating at the jaws, out stalking on the prowl with a howl and a growl, down on all fours, hunting wild boars, breath so foul, bloody raw meat doesn't half smell like a treat, you're better sticking to that trap than the street off the street, pouncing on your back, ripping out your lungs and your heart, growling and slavering them on the attack, chewing on your bones, clawing out your eyes, to cross my path, would it be wise, shut all your windies, lock all your doors, I'm wearing two pairs of shoes cause I walk with all fours. Forget about silver bullets, that story is a myth. I'm a hairy scary lunatic and that's a fucking truth. When the sun comes up, I creep back home. Ripped and torn clothes back to the human zone. Pick up the morning papers, read about the attacks. Surely that wasn't me, but my memory lacks. Seven being dead, six bodies without a head. And poor Mrs. Harper, all the tongue was a leg. Was this really me? What the fuck had I done? And what about old Anna, so they her only son? Get myself showered off and go to my work. The looks I got in the canteen cause they didn't use a fork. What the fuck am I doing? I didn't out of the bowl. Out the front lawn, digging bones out of hole. By the evening paper carry holding their teeth tonight and locking myself in or causing enough grief. But now I'm getting that feeling I'm feeling inside. Oh fuck! There's a massive pill bin glowering outside. Here it fucking comes, the teeth in the claws, hair spilling out my hands, salivating at the jaws. Lock all your doors and the veg in the town. I used to be a werewolf, but I'm alright. Bye!